Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. Of course. Of course, don't even mention it. This is what family does. I did what was right, nothing more. As you always do. Well, I'd like to follow your example. Oh? No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Your father had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to her now and then uh, say goodbye to Dad and head out. Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. Be good, Soros. Be good. Hey, Dad. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. I hope so. For for what it's worth, I'm sorry for uh, for fighting with you about the wedding and everything like that and that we didn't have more time to kind of talk things out. Take care, my girl. I will. Be safe and wise and, well, you know, we'll all miss you. I'll miss you too, Dad. I'm going to go talk to Shiani, all right? There you are. Thank you. For me, for Saurus, for everything. Yeah, don't even worry about it. At all. Just be good to Saurus, all right? He's a really good guy and he deserves nothing but the world. I will, I swear it. Good. Shiani seems to have regained herself. I'll leave you two alone. Thank you. Good luck and thank you again. You took all the responsibility for what happened. You're amazing, you know that? Yeah, I just did what had to be done. Don't even worry about it. Listen, you holding up all right? I'm all right. As far as the others know, Vaughn just roughed me up a bit. I just don't want them treating me like some fragile doll. You've always been there for me. But what happened was beyond what anyone could ever expect from another person. When the world was at its worst, there you came. Fire in your eyes, like something out of a storybook. I'll never forget that. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Make us proud out there. I will. I love you too, Shiani. I'll see you soon, though. Don't worry, I'll find a way to come back and see you guys. Make her watch over you. All right, so I said goodbye to Dad, Shiani, Soros, talk to Valora, Don. Nessa got the money, and hell isn't going to come down on the alienage, so I think I can go now. It's kind of weird to think about. I wanted out this morning, and I still want out, and I still don't want to be married to somebody I don't love or I don't know, but I never thought I'd get out of here this way. wonder what the Grey Wardens will have in store for me. Elder, before I go. Well... I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. I look forward to becoming a Grey Warden, but before I left, I wanted to say thank you. For everything. You were the reason he came here. I was? Perhaps it's for the best. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one. And make her keep you. Are you ready to go? I am. Let's go, Duncan. Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. 
There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? I'm Emery. It's nice to meet you, Your Majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I see you're an elf, friend. From where do you hail? Uh, Denerim. Actually, uh, one of your alienages, to be exact. Tell me, how is it there? My guards all but forbid me going there. Do you really want the truth? I mean... <laughs> if you want to know the long sword story of what it's like to be in the alienage, I am happy to regale you for it. Uh, regale you with it, but there are many things you don't know about what goes on there, and I'd love to sit down one day and be the one to tell you. Because when I say that your people are disgusting with what they do to us, I mean that far beyond you'll ever understand. Oh? Anything in particular? Are you aware of what the lapdogs do? At all? Normally, yes. But it sounds like I'm missing something. Duncan? Your Majesty, I would not have put it so bluntly. There are events in Denerim you should be aware of. So it seems. I will hear more about this matter later. For now, we have a war to attend to. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. You're too kind. I, uh, I'm excited to see what can get done to help with all of this. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. You sound very... very confident of that. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yet you don't seem very reassured by all of it. And a king that's overly confident about winning a battle has a lot to either hide or is very, very naive. And I wonder which one he is. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Do you think that there's a real danger? Do you think that this is a real blight, Duncan? I just want to know what I'm in for. I'm not running. If there's a blight, I'll fight it, but I just want the truth. Absolutely. We sent a call to the Grey Wardens of Orle and hope they will reach us before the archdemon does. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. All right. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. All right, then. So, what do you, uh, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. Okay. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. Agreed. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Uh, I am. Nice to meet you, too. All right, so this is the camp, huh? I guess I'll go right, because I have no idea where I'm going. Duncan just said I should look around. Is that... Those are mages. I'm going to assume that those are mages. And those must be... What are they called? The Templars? I think is what that... Isn't that what I had heard? 
No. Oh, I mean, I know some of it, but I don't know enough. But I can't tell if they're casting spells or dancing. It almost looks like a really weird dance. I wonder if I can go in and talk to them. I'm Can sorry. Oh. The mages must not be interrupted. Okay. No problem. I was just strolling. Thank you for letting me stroll this close. They do kind of look like they're dancing. Huh. I guess that's a group meeting or something? Looks like there's... Oh, there goes Duncan. Hi, Duncan. Oh, I probably shouldn't yell stuff like that across. I should try to be more professional is what I'm remembering. Um, hmm. Looks like there's a tent there. Maybe there's a tent next to it I can kind of see. Kind of want to go check those out. And what's up there? I don't know, but I kind of want to see. Uh, that looks like a mage. It's just chilling. Maybe I could go say hi. And, uh, and introduce myself and get some information. Stand here hey! Hour. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. I was hoping that you were going to be a mage because I've got oodles of questions about like the dance party going on next to you and just what this whole camp is doing and everything like that. So I am so pleased to meet you. I'm Emery, by the way. Well met. And good luck to you on the battlefield. Thank you. To us all, in fact. Yeah, are you going to be fighting beside the king or something else? He, he does seem a little overconfident. I'm not going to lie. I just talked to him not too long ago, and he came across as really confident. Like, I don't, I don't even understand it. How can you be that confident this close to a battle when you have people that I assume don't even really think that this is a blight or anything like that i mean even the king himself had mentioned he doesn't even know if this is a, a true blight it just all seems thrown together really quickly the king must always seem confident his behavior affects the troops morale no oh, that would make he sense he does seem to find his enthusiasm easily though reminds me of a puppy <laughs> and i say that with both respect and affection he is a fine man to defeat the darkspawn we have to work together it's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. What do you mean? Are, is not everybody working together in the camp? Well, I mean, aren't mages feared by everybody? So, well, I guess with the mages here, I could kind of see that. And then I saw the Templars who, rumor has it, are like your babysitters, right? So, mages plus babysitters plus... I think I saw a revered mother walking around plus the Chantry. <laughs> oh boy. And then you've got the army. And then I'm sure there's other people running around plus the Great Wardens. No, I could definitely see how this is a just a big old recipe for disaster. It's either going to be glorious, hilarious, or a disaster. And I'm kind of honestly going to hope that it's a, it's a hodgepodge of all three but do you know much about the dark spawn and have you faced one before are they easy to kill or stragglers yes not the vast horde the scouts speak of huh i wonder how much do you know of the connection between dark spawn and the fade um there's a there's a connection isn't the fade like the land of the dead and, and all that are you telling me that the dark spawn are the undead are they the undead is that kind of like, oh, no, 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 no. I did not sign up for some kind of undead nonsense, did I? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. The Black City? Okay, uh, so... Basically, are you trying to tell me that the Darkspawn are dream spirits? I thought you were implying that they were the undead. I'm very, very confused. Didn't... I'm trying to think back. Didn't a Chantry person come in and start talking about the Black City at one point? I feel like there was, like, lessons for somebody and I overheard. Or not lessons, but, like, everybody just kind of got together. It was, it was weird. I didn't participate. But didn't I hear something bad had happened in the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. Huh. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, 
where they became the first darkspawn. At least that's what the Chant of Light says. Okay. And is it true? Because, I mean, the Chantry says many, many, many things. And honestly, I don't necessarily believe half of what it says, so... It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yeah. I mean, I get it. So, honestly, I guess the, the lesson I'm going to take away from all of this is that the Darkspawn are not spirits, but they kind of originate in the Fade-ish, and then there's this whole hubris thing going on, but also the Darkspawn could just be the undead walking around trying to kill us all. Good, great, love it. I'm just going to kill every Darkspawn I see, and as I do that, I'll contemplate their existence even further. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. Excellent. And I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Yeah, Death is no failure, possibly. But thank you for chatting. I do appreciate it very much. You will have served your maker. All right. Die in this that wasn't... Oh, that's a Chantry mother. She just spouting off her Chantry rhetoric, huh? Interesting. Wait, is that... Yeah, no, it is. I didn't notice that when we first got here, but... That's great that's great so we got a tent there and a tent over there they seem to be busy but do i think i could interrupt i kind of just want to know who's in these tents and why i don't need to know but i need to know hey greetings king kalen is not in his tent right now i'm <laughs> i'm sure he's very busy i mean he's a king after all right can i talk to you for a minute though one non-royalty slash highborn member i assume that you aren't to another can you tell me a little bit more about the king i'm gonna be you know fighting this war alongside everybody soon and i just you know would love to know who it is i'm working with i suppose i do though he's spending most of his time with the gray wardens hmm. he rides with them wherever they go in fact Terran logain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles but the king just waves him off the king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? It, it, I mean, isn't anything possible? Honestly, the only way we're going to know, though, is to fight the coming battle. So, just prepare for pretty much anything, including undead zombies. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. The queen? Wait, the queen queen? Like, I didn't even know Kalen was married. He's married? He seems a little too... Mm, I don't want to say the, the wrong thing here because it could cost me my head, but wow, there's a queen. She's the Terran's daughter. Ah. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did. I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Oh, okay. I understand. You have your job and your head to keep on your shoulders kind of thing. I respect that. I appreciate the little tidbits of information you've given me, though. Hopefully, I'll see you in the battle and, you know, also after the battle. Have fun. As you wish. Okay. Now, this tent. So, if that's the king's tent, this might be Darren Loghain's tent. <gasps> oh, I wonder if I can say hi to him. I wonder if he's in his tent and I can get him outside and I can talk to him for a minute. Because I just want to size the man up. The way everybody talks to about him, I just really want to get to know him a little bit better. Hi! You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. I... First of all, it's very, very nice to meet you. Secondly, I have a question for you. One, you know, soldier to another, kinda, sorta, not really, but along those veins. Can you tell me a little bit about the Terran? How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Huh. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. I can't. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Interesting. So he really is that magnificent, huh? I've heard rumors about him, but through your high praise, I just feel like I know so much more. Now, one more brief question. Is the Tern inside? Is he willing to step out and have a little chit-chat? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activities. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. Uh, could you tell me a little bit more about him then? Is that 
Is that okay? Well, I suppose as long as we talk quietly. Absolutely. He and the king have been arguing for days. For days? The town's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The town speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Ooh. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Huh? What about that, huh? That's something, arguing like that. Hopefully they can work out their differences before the big battle. So, now that we've become friends, right? Because at this point, I feel like we're really good friends. Is there any chance that I could talk to the Tern myself? I would just, I would love to say hello, introduce myself as one of the, you know, newest Grey Wardens, and just pay my respects. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him? I do. Hold on, then. Thank you. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. I am! It is very, very nice to meet you. I literally just wanted to stop by and say hi, but I, I do have a small question. How did you know that I was the, the newest Grey Warden? I'm not, I'm not wearing the uniform or anything. His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? No, I'm uh, unaware of that. I don't know if it's technically my order yet. I'm not, I'm not officially a Grey Warden member yet. But that is some uh, some interesting news. And it seems like Kalen's fascination though with the Wardens isn't isn't something that you share alongside him, huh? The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. Hmm. You're pretty for a Grey Warden. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't belong. The first warden Marek brought to Ferelden was a woman, the best warrior I've ever seen. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? That's undecided. I don't, I don't know yet. I mean, I'll go wherever either they ask me to, or if I don't like where they're sending me, I'll just go where I want to be. So we'll see. It's to be decided. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. I'm not the praying sort, so I will not be doing that, but what happens, though, if he doesn't listen to wisdom? Then simply pray. Well, that's not an option either. Thank you, my fine friend, for bringing the Terran out so I can talk to him. I appreciate your time immensely. Hi, Duncan. I'm almost done. They have dogs. They have dogs. Oh my goodness. They're huge and adorable. How do I take them home? Seriously though. Well, not home. I don't have, I don't have a home anymore. Okay. Well, I mean, not home home with me. How do I keep them basically? Did the Terran call me pretty? I think he did. I'm torn between being, you know, honored by it and creeped out i don't know how i feel about that hi hey, hey there elf what's yeah? your name oh wrong oh, elf it, whoops it, it's picked hi you have, business with the Ash Warriors. I the war you, party is ready to begin you have a commander we'll okay find anything amiss. um are either yes, sir, one of you right the away, the commander i do not wish to speak not before the battle begins I, I mean that's fair okay so there's no commander i literally are you the commander Make his breath, another elf. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Another elf? I have, I... <laughs> Sir, I was just coming over to see if you had any of the Mabari up for adoption, because, I mean, I really want one. Do you have a problem with elves? Not in particular, except for them being so thin-boned. You make good messengers sometimes. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. No... No, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to your business then. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Sure. Enjoy. Listen, though, if you ever get a Mabari that, that needs a friend, or you just need somebody to babysit them, call me. I'm, like, so here for it, Grey Warden or not. <sighs> so rude. Make for good messengers. I do more than that. Hey, is everything all right? Mm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Wait, what's wrong? Are you the new warden? Yeah. I could use some help. What's up? Um, is there is there a problem with, with one of the dogs? How can I help? I don't want anything to happen to them. This is a Mabari. 
Yes. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, oh, and no. the poor round swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Okay, absolutely. Then I'll give it a shot. I don't know why you need me to to help you with this, but honestly, I don't. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you as best I can. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Okay. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Hi, puppy. Hi. Come here, good puppy. Can I, can I do this? Huh? Can I put the muzzle on you? You gonna be okay? Let me just put the muzzle on you. No, no, no. It's okay. Just gonna do it quick. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor Oof. fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? I might be. I actually don't know what my itinerary is after doing what Duncan set out, but possibly. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. Oh? It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. Okay. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white with a blood red center. All right, yeah, if I find one, I'll get you one. Do you only need one? Do you need multiple? You know what? I'll grab a handful, because you never know. I mean, if I can find a handful, but I will definitely, definitely find you some flowers for this Mabari. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Please take good care of him. He's a good boy. He doesn't deserve whatever's happening to him. And listen, um, you know, keep me updated. Poor thing. That's just awful.